with a speech entitled Mindfulness. Let's give a warm welcome to Mr. How many times did you leave your home and when you were in the lift, you were thinking, I'm not sure if I locked or not the door. Or how many times did you open the fridge door, you were looking inside the fridge and thinking, I don't know what I was going to get here. These situations happen because we are used to live in the automatic pilot. We let our mind wander most of the time, which make us don't pay attention to the small things in our lives, to the things that really matter sometimes. A way to overcome this is the practice of mindfulness. But what is mindfulness? Mindfulness is the action of paying attention to the things we normally wouldn't notice, to become aware of the present moment experiences without judgment, with kindness and compassion. But how can we do this? We can use our senses, sight, sound, touch, smell, for example, you can try to pay attention to your breath for a few minutes during the day, noticing how the air goes inside and out of your body. Also noticing the expansion of your belly. Or you can try it now while you are sitting there listening to me. Could you please put both of your feet on the floor? Now try to observe how your shoes are touching the ground. Or how are you feeling your seat? Or even what you are doing with your hands? Doing this a few minutes a day, you give your mind a break from the continuous thinking you have every day, all day. You will deactivate your wandering mind and activate the part of your brain that, re that is responsible for the attention. But it's relevant to comprehend that it's completely normal to get yourself thinking about your dinner time or about an appointment you have tomorrow, tomorrow while you're doing practice, while, while you're practicing mindfulness. Don't, don't blame yourself for this. Our brain is used to be busy all the time. And that's why the non-judgment concept is so important. Just accept the thoughts that arises during the practice. As I said, don't blame yourself for them. And just return your attention to the senses you were activating before. Mindfulness can help us to switch off the stress reactions and to activate the calming responses. It, it doesn't mean that a person who practices mindfulness will never be stressed or will never have a hurried mind. It means that probably this person will face the stressful situations with a tranquil mind, will have a less wandering mind, and will live more the present moments. So why don't you try it? Tomorrow morning when you wake up and you are going to wash your face, try to pay attention to the feeling of the water on your hands, to the movement of your hands toward your face, to how the tower touches your skin. It may sound silly, but mindfulness can be a powerful tool for important changes in our lives. As John kabat says, the present moment is the only moment where it's possible to change. Thank you.